Yeah, so this is our step-by-step -step guide. This is how to install an upgraded alternator and wiring kit onto a Ford JJ3 motor. So let's jump into it. Yeah, so we're installing this into a 2022 D-Max, this is the third gen D-Max. So um, to do that, we just got our wiring kit. So it consists of just the mega fuse holder and a 250 amp mega fuse. Just our bracket that will just get installed just underneath the engine cover. And then just our upgraded cabling. So it's all labeled. So you just connect straight from the battery to the fuse and then from the fuse to the alternator. So we'll go ahead and get started by ripping out the old alternator and then we'll go jump into it. Yeah, so to get to the alternator, we've got to take this air box out. So to do that, you've got to take these bolts out. They just hold it down just on the bottom here. Uh, and then you've got to take the actual hose off as well. So this is the hose clamp there you've got to remove. And then you just have to remove this hose there. And then you can get that whole air box out. And then once that's out, you can get better access into the alternator. So let's go ahead and get this removed now. All right, so now that we've got the air box out, we can get a bit of better access into the actual alternator. So first, we just need to take the belt off. Uh, so to do that, this one doesn't have your normal like tensioner on it that you just put a socket on. This one actually has a tensioner bolt. So that one's just this one here. So you just got to back that one off and basically you'll just drop that pulley down just to take the tension off the belt. And then you just take the belt off and then we can unbolt it. So you just want to make sure you don't back it off too far. Um, otherwise it'd be a bit of an issue. So just trying to back it off basically as little as you need to just to be able to get the belt on and off and then you're good to go to start pulling the actual alternator out. So the alternator itself has only got a couple bolts that holds it in, one at the top, one at the bottom. <clears throat> and then you just need to take the B plus terminal off at the back. And just underneath that heat shield there is just the actual uh, plug that you've just got to unplug. So once you get all that stuff removed, then you'll be good to pull the old alternator out and we can go ahead and throw the new one in. So let's go ahead and do that now. got the alternator out um, just to do that we did need to crack the tensioner as well just so that it could help drop it down um, so once that was cracked and then you back the actual tensioning bolt off then the whole uh, pulley just dropped down and then we we're able to get the bolt off uh, the belt off we just had to take this uh, bracket off as well just to make it a little bit easier just to get the actual uh, alternator out of there just give you a little bit more room uh, and then just with the locking, uh, with the actual plug, some of them have locking tabs on them, depending on which model, like the 70 series, for example, doesn't have it. But you just want to check whenever you go to grab the actual plug to see if there's some sort of locking tabs like this, uh, because you won't be able to actually get it out until you push that locking tab back and then you'll be able to push it down and then pull the actual plug out. So use either a red color or a yellow color. So if you ever see one of them on one of those plugs, most likely it's a locking tab. So you usually just want to pull that back and then you'll be able to actually pull it off. So just make sure you do that. Otherwise you end up damaging that plug and you do need that plug to be able to plug back into the new one. So you don't really want to damage um, that. So you just want to be a bit careful. You just also want to keep in mind before you go ahead and disconnect the actual battery uh, positive, it is a good idea to uh, disconnect the negative. Um, that way you haven't got to worry about this touching ground and shorting out. Uh, so you probably just want to do that first before you go ahead and uh, touch the actual positive. Otherwise you might just cause a bit of a short. Uh, but now that that's all done, what we'll do is uh, we'll heat shrink this up because that's the old cable we no longer use. So we usually just heat shrink that up, cable tie it back up. You never really strip them out of the actual harness just from the fact that it usually goes into like a bit of a decent sized harness and then it has branches off everywhere. It's not really worth the time of trying to strip it out of the actual harness. So you just want to heat shrink that up uh, and then cable tie it up and then you just want to identify where it actually goes onto the battery. Uh, so for the D-Max, it's just the one that's closest to the engine on the positive terminal over there. So once you've identified that, you'll take that off and you do the exact same thing on that side. You'll just heat shrink it up and then cable tie it back. And then that way it'll never be live, so you don't have to worry. So you don't really need to heat shrink it, but it's just something, just an extra precaution in case someone ever down the line works on the car and they don't know that they're not supposed to reconnect that. They might just reconnect it and then all of a sudden this is live. So that's why it's just a good idea to heat shrink it up. And then that way everyone always knows, oh, it's not in use. So now that's all done. Uh, we can go ahead and throw the new alternator in. When you are 
doing alternators like in and out, it's always a good idea. Uh, we always find it super helpful if you actually take a look at the alternator. It's all well and good to have a look on the car and then look at videos like this to see how to do it. But I always find it's a bit handy to look at the actual alternator you're putting in because it's going to be a straight swap. So you know straight away, oh, that's where this bolt's located, that's where this is located. Just makes it a little bit easier when you are pulling uh, the old one out for the first time. You know exactly where all the plugs are, the connections and all the bolts. So. We'll go ahead and throw the new one in now and then we'll get it uh, connected back up. alternator in it is quite bigger than the factory one uh, so you do need to take a couple of extra things off to get the new one in uh, just to make it a bit easier so the other hose uh, for the turbo just needs to come off just to allow a bit more space to then fit the bigger one in because when you put them side by side you'll notice they are quite a lot bigger the new ones uh, just because the factory one is quite a small alternator um, and now that we're up to the big 240 it is quite a lot bigger in size so now that's in uh, then we just run the cabling up so it just follows the OEM cabling uh, on top of the engine there. And then you just put the new mega fuse holder just there. It's got factory holes already, so two five uh, and five bolts just go through. No drilling is required. And then you just run the other side of that fuse out and it goes along the side over to the battery. The one thing you just want to keep in mind, it doesn't go into the factory spot. Uh, because that's got a 200 amp fuse on it and obviously that's too small for this new upgraded one so don't bolt it back on to where you removed the old one otherwise it potentially could blow that fuse so just put it over to the next one uh, but all the cap covers go back on so all the factory covers go on and then you'll never notice that anything's been upgraded unless you go looking for it so that's the nice feature about it all is you can put all those covers back on including the battery cover and then just look factory so yeah it's a nice little finish there yeah, so say you install the upgraded alternator and our wiring kit to suit on a Ford JJ3 motor. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in it or you have any more uh, questions, you can just get in contact with us or you can head over to our website and check it out there.